In this video, we'll discuss the diagnostic procedure of a starting system equipped with a smart IMS starter. It's important to note that some smart IMS features could be misdiagnosed as a starting problem. These features help protect the starting system. The good news is the procedure for a smart IMS equipped starter is similar to that of any standard starting system. One point to keep in mind before you get started, be sure to follow the steps in order and completely, otherwise you risk a misdiagnosis. The first step is to determine the symptom of the complaint, which may include a click no crank condition, a no click no crank condition, or a slow cranking condition. Regardless of the symptom, the next step is always the same. Determine the vehicle battery state of charge and condition. If the state of charge is low, less than 65%, the batteries must be charged. Any battery that fails a performance test must be replaced with a fully charged battery. You should not continue testing with discharged or failed batteries as it can lead to a misdiagnosis. It can also cause the smart IMS to prevent cranking or disengage a cranking starter. The next step is to perform a starter voltage drop test on the main starting cables. The voltage drop on a 12 volt heavy duty system should be no more than a half a volt at 500 amps. Values greater than that can cause slow cranking conditions as well as click no crank and no click no crank symptoms, especially in cold weather. Excessive voltage drop can also cause the smart IMS to prevent cranking or disengage a cranking starter. If the main cable voltage drop is excessive, then review the test results to determine if the positive or the negative cable is the cause and make the needed repairs. Excessive voltage drops can be caused by loose or corroded connections at the starter or batteries, damaged or undersized cables, improperly performed cable repairs. Be sure to complete any needed repairs to the main cables before continuing testing. The last circuit to test is the starter control circuit. If the symptom is slow cranking, the control circuit is working properly since the starter is cranking. If the battery and main cable tests are within specification and the symptom is a slow crank condition, then the starter is the cause and should be replaced. If the symptom is a click no crank or a no click no crank, then a voltage drop test should be performed on the starter control circuit. There must be at least eight volts at the smart IMS S terminal with the key in the start position. If the voltage is less than this, make the necessary repairs. If the voltage is above eight volts and the batteries and main cables have been tested, then the starter is the cause and should be replaced. When diagnosing either click no crank or no click no crank condition, Keep in mind the smart IMS features that could also prevent cranking. These are normal and should not be confused with genuine starting problems. These features include limiting cranking time to 20 seconds with a 10 second delay before re-engagement to reduce damage caused by excessive cranking, a three second delay after each starting attempt to assure the engine and starter have come to a complete stop to protect the pinion and ring gear from milling damage. Preventing starter engagement if battery open circuit voltage is below 11.75 volts on a 12 volt system to prevent solenoid disc chatter and terminal overheating. Preventing starter engagement if battery voltage is 13.75 volts or greater to protect the starter from engagement into a running engine. If the diagnosis requires a starter replacement, be sure to inspect the ring gear for damage. If there's damage, be sure to replace it because installing a new starter on a vehicle with a damaged ring gear will create repeat starter failures. If you have any questions, visit us online or contact us at the number listed on the screen.